Welcome to the Scratch Challenge. We have one of the most widespread network of railways in India. However, there's a downside to it. And I'm looking at the report on downtoearth.org.in where there is an article about how this extensive network cuts across dense forests and because of it, or habitat of various wild species. That blog goes on to cover how this has led to numerous accidents and death of elephants. So your challenge is to create a project where you're going to use sensors on the train to detect if there is an approaching elephant on the track. So for the feed-ins, programmers and scratchers, you can extend this to make it a lot more interesting. You can make it either like a game or you can make it like a little storyboard. So go ahead and do it. Now let us look at some tips on how to do this project. So basically what we have, we have a backdrop. So you can use this uh, or you can use something of yours. And then there is a train track. We've shown a baby elephant, which is purple in color. And there is a train which is going to be, which is right now hidden here. Now the train track, that's really nothing much code here. It is just position the elephant you can quote the elephant to be anywhere around and kind of walk to the track here you know make sure you try to do this your way um, do, do not use the code which we are showing here this is only as a demonstration purpose so basically if you look at it we're setting the position here so initially we want the elephant to be here and slowly it starts to walk forward we are making it forward walk forward using repeat of 10. So repeat this control if you have not used it before. It is part of the control block here. So the control block basically helps control the flow of a code. So when we say control the flow of a code, basically when we want to do something again and again, that is something called a repeat. When we want to give weights between the code, that's when we use the weight block. And if we want to use certain conditions, so we will be using a few control blocks in this code. So the first thing we are showing here is using a repeat block because we want the elephant to very slowly walk forward. Uh, to make it walk forward, uh, if you recollect anything to do with movement is under motion. So we're using a simple move, making it move in steps of five and what move does, it basically makes it go or move on along the X axis. So it's going to keep moving towards right. Now we want to move it slightly forward towards the track. So we are changing the Y position by minus two. And we are changing the size by one as it is coming forward. Now there's this, you don't have to use this code, but this is to show you an example of making it a little more interesting and fun because you don't want every time the elephant to reach the track exactly at the same time. So we can give it a weight every time and A, we can give it a fixed weight or because now you all have learned pick random, you can give it pick random and you can say how many seconds, between how many seconds each time you want our little Ellie to wait. So if you play this code, basically you will see the elephant moving five steps forward, coming uh, five steps towards the right, moving forward by minus two and changing size by one. That means it is increasing its size. So initially we have set the size to a tiny 10%. So it's moving towards and there is a weight which is varying between one to four here not fixed it. So that's what an elephant is doing. Now, in the meanwhile, what our train is going to go, it's going to approach from here. So we are giving it an initial position and we are, kept in, we are keeping it hidden. And after a little while, so we are making it wait here for one second, but again, you, if you want to keep it changing every time you run it, you can use a pick random here. And then the train starts to come forward. And how it is coming forward? 
we are making it move minus four steps because it's moving coming from right to left and it is waiting for 0 0.3 seconds between every move now is really the sensor code kit come in which we want to demonstrate that by using sensor on the strain it is going to detect and it is going to stop now how do we do that so this is where um, we are going to use one more new set of blocks today and they are called sensing can you see here this is the sensing set of blocks now these sensing blocks basically are used when you want to when you want to feel if you are touching a certain object another sprite touching a particular color or if you want to check a distance from a particular sprite so in this case we are going to be using distance to and if you click on the down arrow it will list down all the sprites in your project so here we want the distance to the elephant now how do we use this block we want to do a certain action if the elephant is coming at a certain closeness to the train if the train feels that the elephant is close to it so we need a condition where do we get it we just talked about it all the conditions are in control block so we use the if block and if block needs a condition it needs an operator and you have used operator before we are going to use another operator which is greater than or less than right we want to we want to say if it is within a certain distance so we will use the less than operator so we're going to drag and see the less than operator fits right here so what is less than so the distance is less than you see how the condition is becoming formed so now every time the train is moving forward it is also going to check this condition that is the distance to elephant walking is it less than 50 then do something now all of you who are going to be doing this for the first time i want you all to pay attention here because we are learning quite a few things right so now what do we want to do if the distance becomes less than a certain number so we are saying it 100 here sensors to start giving a certain signal now how do we do that we use we come to events right because events has a has a set of broadcasting a message and receiving a message so this is the pair we are going to be using now when we broadcast we can use a new message to create a message so what we are doing here is we are creating a new message called signal to stop and we are going to broadcast that here signal to stop what we want to do is i'm going to right click on this it is control right click on mac and i'm duplicating this entire set because i want to say if it is less than 50 or i don't know 70 we'll have to check this out right then we are going to broadcast it to say stop train and we are in a forever loop so that means it's going to go on and on forever until we tell it to stop sometime after broadcasting stop train we are going to go to control where there is something called stop right it has three variations to stop all this script and other scripts and sprites so we want to stop this script so we are going to stop this script now we have done broadcast somebody has to receive this broadcast and do something we are going to receive how do we receive again go to event and use this block when i receive now this when i receive block you can select it as a drop down and you select so we have broadcast signal to stop so we are going to receive signal to stop and what do we do in signal to stop in our train we have created two costumes and you can do this very easily if you want where this sensor color in front we are showing as a sensor and we're showing two colors to it so we can show it flashing it's two variations of like a red color 
So when I receive signal to talk, we want to switch between these two costumes. I think you know this by now, how to switch costumes. You come to looks and you switch costume between these two, sensor one and sensor two. Now for the costumes to show up, you won't be really able to visibly see the two costumes changing because human eyes cannot perceive something so quickly. So what we have to do, we can put a little weight. So we will put a weight of 0 0.2 seconds between both these costumes. Now, when you click on this, you can see how it is blinking. It will keep blinking when it receives signal to stop. And then at some point when you broadcast stop train, if you want something else to happen uh, on stop train, you can code that. So for instance, maybe you can show, you know, the elephant just running across and going or um, getting a little scared, you know, something like that. And you can just receive that event in the baby elephant. Events can be received. Once an event is sent, any of the sprites can receive an event. With this code, you pretty much have your basics covered. We hope that you are enjoying doing these different challenges and we are looking forward to get more ideas and interesting ways in which you are extending these challenges and making it in your own creative ways. Um, do keep making sure that you remix the project and you share it. So it's it makes it very easy for us to keep track. Have fun. Ta-da.